And welcome back to our second half hour. I'm Mike Landis. Lauren is off tonight. Well, yesterday, a gas explosion caused a funeral home garage and two vehicles to be completely lost in those ensuing flames. Several fire departments helped put that fire out in Mountain Grove, but the explosion has lost some lasting effects on that community. Fox 49 Shadaya Tomlin is live there tonight from the explosion site. Shadaya, what are you seeing there this evening and what have you learned so far about that investigation? Well, Mike, you can see how bad that explosion actually was to this building, leaving it in complete rub just complete burnt and rubble. And a lot of the businesses in this area were in potential danger due to this explosion fire and to the gas leak, the dangerous gas leak in the area. I was actually just in my shop visiting with a customer and we kind of headed towards the door and we saw all of the siren. We heard just like a big boom. And it honestly just sounded like fireworks were going off. A gas explosion rocks a neighborhood, leaving a funeral home's garage a pound of charred rubble. When Mountain Grove's fire crews got the call, they jumped right into action. The natural gas leak a driller had hit a natural gas line. When it exploded, it blew the ends out of the roof, and uh, there was fire probably 35, 40 foot in the air. It got the power lines and uh, some fiber optic line that ran up through there. It was really going good. You know, it wasn't one of these that just smoldered and then ignited and kind of grew. Once the fire was extinguished, the power in the area had to be cut until around midnight due to the concern of high gas levels. We had uh, three buildings up there that were of really high concern. They had a really high level of gas in them. We which ventilated the best we could, but the power remained off until this morning. And as far as I know, they're still working on the gas line. A business owner says she was worried for the fate of her flower shop after hearing the explosion. My landlord, actually I called him and we knew that there's possibility of the natural gas leaking into these buildings. I was just waiting, you know, to hear from him. I knew that the, the city was checking on things. Community members hope that this fire is the last of many that the town has seen in this summer stretch they've had. We just had a big fire here a couple weeks ago at a church that got burnt down. So we're, uh, yeah, it's like when the hits quit coming. I'm just thankful that the first responders and the fire department was there to take care of it the way that they did. The natural gas company worked throughout the night to make sure that the, the area was, that any damages were repaired and that the area was safe for everyone living in it. Reporting live in Mountain Grove, I'm Shadiah Tomlin, Ozarks First.